Well, after ordering this on 3rd of March, that's finally turned up 15th of September. Been a bit of a long wait, but it's given me time to collect a lot of goodies to um, start to bolt onto it. Um, so it's got a bit of a journey yet before it gets registered. Uh, I've got to start by putting the X bar on it, which is in this box. I'll get it out later and show you it laid around, um, laid out before I bolt it on. I've got a, um, a worn winch. I've got ARB bull bar scrub rails and side steps are uh, getting powder coated with a Canero uh, custom built tray, uh, getting all powder coated together. I've got a um, pre line fuel filter to go on, uh, which in, has also got a um, Provent catch can. I've um, got a uh, six port uh, dip, dip breather kit to go on it. Um, four ports already on it, but there's two blanking plugs and, and more ports in the, in the box. Um, so that'll allow me to do both diffs, gearbox transfer case and the winch um, and have one, uh, one port blanked off. Um, that's from uh, BRC, um, if anyone's interested. It was about $280. Um, I got this um, from Perth Diesel Performance. Oh, sorry, PPD, uh, Perth Performance Diesel. And then uh, that's just some bash plates and things that act to go with the uh, bull bar and stuff when they go on. Uh, so I'll try and keep you updated as I go along of where we're at. Um, this hasn't even um, been uh, delivered yet from uh, the showroom, so it's got all the plastics and things still on it. Um, I have ordered a, a pillar pod and uh, just a single um, 52 mil exhaust gas temperature boost and um, I've got an outside air probe but I'm just looking at this and it's saying outside. Um, I've tried pressing the button but I can't get an outside air temperature so I'm not sure what that is. Uh, the manuals weren't delivered yet because I haven't actually paid for this vehicle. Um, so. I'll um, keep you updated on that if if it does have an outside air temperature gauge um, and I need that because uh, of my location I drive to work five o'clock each morning and in winter it gets down to um, minus five minus six so if the um, if you've got an outside air temperature gauge it just gives you a bit of a rough idea of what the road conditions are like how slippery it might be um, so the pillar pod um, will give me a gauge just here. Um, if it's already got an outside air temperature gauge, I'll um, swap that outside air temperature gauge from the um, from Red Arc. I'll hopefully be able to swap it, and I'll swap it out for either a um, oil pressure temperature or a, or a water temperature. Probably oil pressure temperature. Um, few things I've been organising while I've been waiting for this. Um, I've organised DMW in Toowoomba to do a um, four and a half ton GVM upgrade. So the four, four, nine, nine uh, kilogram GVM upgrade. Uh, that includes a DWIS diff. So we'll do the track correction. Uh, it includes uh, Dobinson remote reservoir adjustable shockies. Um, uh, airbagman airbags and um, a brake booster upgrade uh, braided lines to the brakes and um, a steering dampener on the front and 35 inch um, wheels or well, 17 inch wheels with 35 inch tyres uh, so DMW are looking after all that for me. Uh, that's um, second stage of manufacture and that's why it's not registered yet. It has to be done before Rego. 
uh, it will then go from there to uh, GSL. It's getting a twin four inch exhaust, uh, DPF back. Uh, I've looked at their elite uh, DPF system. I'll probably eventually get one. Um, it was just too difficult to try and get it engineered um, for New South Wales uh, without actually like being there and being able to drive it, etc. So uh, initially just gone DPF back, twin uh, four inch exhaust. I'm also uh, replacing the snorkel, uh, the airbox uh, with a stainless steel airbox uh, from GSL. Just look them up, uh, they're on the website and a four inch uh, stainless steel intake across the top of the um, engine. And uh, then a, a tune. Um, so I'll eventually probably uh, go from that to a, I'll replace the DPF. Uh, I wanna keep it legal, so um, I will get it engineered if I do replace it. But um, I'll probably replace that and the turbo at the same time and get a retune then. Um, I am keen on getting the cruiser console, um, center console that uh, has the, um, the area where you can put the compressor, little compressor fridge, um, to replace the standard, um, cup holder and stuff. Anyway, um, I'll leave it at that. I'll keep you up to date on the build and how it goes. Uh, hope you enjoyed. See ya.